Welcome to Growing Your Own Food in Your Own Backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Make sure you hit the notification bell and don't forget to like. I'm really excited about giving you an update on this bell pepper plant. This is the first time I started a bell pepper plant from a seed. I normally would grow the little bell pepper starters, but this time I had purchased a couple of organic bell peppers, red, orange, and yellow, and I saved the seeds. And I decided to try something extraordinary this season. I decided to start bell pepper seeds inside of eggshells to increase the calcium intake. Make sure you check my video on the bell pepper seeds I propagated in eggshells. This particular bell pepper, I wanted to determine if it would actually produce orange bell peppers, and it did and a couple of them are ready for harvest. Now, this particular bell pepper plant, I also covered. Now, I'm really big on covering plants. Number one, for insect protection, and number two, to try to shade the plants because the sunlight in, in, our, um, in Colorado gets really intense. So this gets about 25% shading. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade cloth off this pepper plant. And I was having a lot of problems with earwigs earlier in the season. So a lot of the older leaves had a lot of earwig um, attacks. And this particular bell pepper plant does have a, this leaves does have a tendency to droop. When the sun gets really intense and we get above 90 degrees in Colorado, it's important to shade it. But look at this, orange bell peppers. I have a green one here, I've got another green one here. I have another green one over here. No, I got two green ones over here. I got a real thick one here, a small one there. And I have another one here. And here, another big one here. But I have an orange one here that I'm getting ready to harvest. So where do I? and harvest this one. Make sure I cut it correctly. Look at that. And I have another one I'm gonna harvest. And this one's a little one, but it started turning orange, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it. So, as you can see, the seeds from the orange bell pepper I purchased from a health food store, organic, save the seeds, and this is the result of germinating the seeds. I have a lot of flowers, so it looks like I'm gonna have more bell peppers. But I wanna go ahead and leave these on for a while to see if they turn orange. Oh, it smells wonderful. It has a beautiful scent. Uh, no insect. Uh, no blossom end rot. I definitely made sure that I added calcium to the soil. And again, I started the seeds in eggshells to experiment to see if I would be able to pull up enough calcium in the, in the seedlings. So just want to give you an update on the bell pepper plant. The experiment proved to work. Germinated a bell pepper seed from our organic orange bell pepper and I ended up with orange bell peppers. I can't wait to taste these bell peppers to see if they're sweet. So just wanted to give you an update on how my bell pepper plant is producing. It's, it's um, healthy. The plant does have a tendency to get stressed under a lot of sunlight. A little different than other bell pepper plants I've purchased here in Colorado, but again, this has started from seed, it's healthy, it's producing, and this is an exciting experiment and the results are successful. So just wanted to share that with you. Let me know if you have started bell peppers from seed, especially the red ones and the yellow ones, and what was your success, what was your experience? I would love to hear from you. Now I am in my raised bed, and let's harvest my onions. 
I have three onions where the tops have literally died back. You can see right here, there is no tops at all. And in this particular instance, it's really important that you pull the onions out of the soil when you have your tops literally die back and drape over. And I would rather keep them in the soil like this big one right here, but this hasn't died back. And I would prefer that the onion gets a little bigger. So I'm gonna leave this one in. But these three, I've got completely um, stems that have died back. If I leave the onions in too long, they'll start um, rotting and getting infested with insects. So it's time to harvest. Although I could have um, preferred to have a larger onion, but nevertheless, it, they're, they're healthy and they look good. So I have this one here. And then I have this one right here, which is looking good. And then I have this one right here. So these onions, as you can see, the tops have completely died out. And I don't want to leave them in too long because I don't want the onions to rot. But if you, could, if you see here, this onion right here, you see how big it is? I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna leave this in a little longer. As long as the top is green and it's not dying out, then I'm gonna be okay with leaving that in so it can get bigger. But nevertheless, I've got three onions to harvest and I can't wait to let them dry out. And I'm not gonna store these onions, I'm gonna be ready to use them for the salad. So I just wanted to give you an update on how my onions are doing and thank you for watching.